Hey guys, it's Viewmasters Reactions, and this is the new Joker movie trailer. I tried to get this out as quick as possible. I got home from work a little early. Don't know much about it, guys. I know about the Joker. I know Joaquin Phoenix is playing him. It looks pretty creepy. That's him right there. This is the poster for it. It says, put on a happy face. So, we all know the story of the Joker. We all know he's Batman's arch nemesis, so... I'm just going to jump in, guys, because I really don't know where they're taking this or what kind of spin they're putting on it. The Joker movie. Here we go. Arthur, does it help to have someone to talk to? I always loved Joaquin Phoenix. Great and gladiator. My mother Horrible always person. tells me to smile and put on a happy face. That's creepy. She told me I had a purpose to bring laughter and joy to the world. Where is this taking place, Gotham, I'm assuming? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I'm, I'm sympathizing with the Joker. Or is it getting crazier out there? My God. His body looks horrifying. Like, he looks like uh, Christian Bale from... That movie, The Machinist, where he was a skeleton. Arkham. What is he supposed to be, though? <laughs> He's playing a good crazy person, that's for sure. It's, I guess it's showing his deterioration. And why is everyone always fucking with him? <laughs> like, why is he constantly being beat up and harassed? Like, even when he looks like a lunatic. Charlie Chaplin. Would do something that cold-blooded. Someone who hides behind a mask. I love that actor from Boardwalk Empire, Nucky's brother. Robert De Niro? But now I realize it's a comedy. It actually does feel like a gangster movie. It feels like an old school gangster movie, like Goodfellas or something. And Robert De Niro made me think of that. Look at this. We got. Definitely gives you chills. That was pretty cool, guys. I'm not gonna lie, it, it gave me a totally different feel than I was expecting. When as soon as I saw Robert De Niro, I'm like, holy crap, this feels like Goodfellas. Like the way it's filmed, it's got that like 90s look. It's like dark city gangster type stuff. Totally unlike Gotham that we've seen. Normally Gotham is very comic booky in the 80s. Then in the Christian Bale ones, it looks more like New York City, but like modern day. This looked like old school New York kind of style. Joaquin Phoenix, love him, looked crazy good. Totally believable as the Joker. It's like an interesting take I've never seen. Jared Leto had an interesting take, but I wasn't too hip on that. And it was in Suicide Squad and it was so rushed and like thrown in there. Heath Ledger obviously was an amazing Joker, but that was more like in the Nolan world. It was a different feel. This is like dark, like almost like the mental stability of a man unfolding, but like it's very realistic fashion. Definitely dig it, guys. I actually didn't have too high of expectations for it because DC is hit or miss. They've been very good recently. I hear Shazam is great. I'm seeing it tomorrow. I'll do a review. I saw um, Wonder Woman was great. Aquaman was amazing. DC has been on a roll right now. And this looks like they're going to continue the trend. I think DC's problem was they focused too much on this combined universe thinking they had to run with that because of Marvel's success. DC just got to do their own thing. They're doing great with that. Like, I know they're still in the combined universe, but they're doing other things like Suicide Squad and this, that. I DC's just got to do their own thing, and they they seem to be on a roll now, and I'm very pleased. So I'm definitely going to see this, guys. Honestly, much better than I expected. Awesome. Definitely going to check it out. You guys let me know what you think. Comments down below. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.